Hey, Kara, congratulations on the, the win and the goal. This team, it's like a never-say-die spirit. They're, they fight to, to the very end. What do you think's brought this out of the team? Vanny said it goes back to, to last season, but it, it's something that teams either have it or they haven't. We've seen it before in the league with San Jose, but this team just never gives up. Yeah, I mean, and the team, the team has a lot of sacrifice. The team is willing to go the extra mile, and we don't stop fighting until the last minute. And um, <laughs> I mean, we've, we've how many games have we won so far this season in the last minute? So it shows a lot of uh, shows a lot of character and and great attitude from from the players. So we got to keep this up. And and I mean, here at BC Place is something special because we, we tend to get these games more at home. But uh, also on the road, we've been having some 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 fair results as well. Simon talked about once the first goal went in, the feeling was there was going to be another coming, and it did feel like that. And that's something I think the team has installed. That right up to the end, I always expect the team to get at least one or two goals in the last five minutes, stoppage time, whatever. That's something that must have opposition players as well in the back foot because they know what you can now bring right to the very end. Yeah, I think the second half we started we started better. Uh, we started keeping more possession of the ball, uh, dominating in their half, and just uh, just not giving it away it's too easy. Um, and then obviously trying to get some opportunities in. I had a couple uh, when, once I came on, and you know it, it showed that we were gonna we were gonna win the game. We we're gonna make a big turnaround, and you know after my first goal, my second goal, I mean I was happy, you know. Just last thing for me, the the joy in your face when you you got that goal, you really seem to be enjoying your football at the moment. I was a bit worried you were going to get a second yellow for kicking the corner flag. I thought that was a kind of automatic thing, but I don't know. But you do seem to be really enjoying your football these days. Yeah, I mean, uh, no, I wasn't worried about that. Just the adrenaline, you know, the good feeling of scoring a goal in the last minute. It's something special, especially here at BC Place in front of the fans. In front of uh, in front of the fans who, who th that side of the pitch that never get really the attention. So you know it was something special for them today, and you know I had to go celebrate with them. Um, but yeah, all around you know I'm feeling good, confident, and that's that's what's what's important. Cheers, Kevin. Congrats. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks, Michael. We'll go next to Sim. Sim, you go ahead, please. Hey, Kevin. We have some win. Um, it's sort of kind of on the flip side to what you were talking about, about the team being able to leave a win and grab points from a losing position is the fact that, if any talk about it, the, the inability for y'all to really get off on the front foot from the word go. Um, what tangibly does this team need to do to really put themselves in a position to win from the opening kickoff? Yeah, I think we need to, we need to, to, to wake up more uh, from the beginning. Uh, I don't know. It's like we have to... We react when we get we concede a goal, and that's something that 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 really you know kills us kills our game a little bit, you know. Because I mean, if it wasn't for the two goals we scored to come back, who knows? Uh, I mean, if they score one, they score two, you know, and then it's hard. It's even harder to, to get back in it. So I think we just have to maintain our, our our heads and you know try to keep the zero in the net from the start and and just play our game like naturally. How do you keep from getting too caught up in? Where you all are in the standings right now. I mean, uh, I mean, as as the season ends, you know, things start to get more interesting. Um, I mean, yeah, we have to concede. Uh, sorry, gain as much points as possible and concede as as least as possible. So, I mean, uh, you know, especially the games at home, uh, those are crucial for us, and even on the road. Um, it's going to be tough, but I mean, I, I think we could pull through and, and reach the playoffs. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Cindy. We'll go next to Gemma. Go ahead, Gemma. Hi, Kava. Uh, can you take us through what you thought on your goal? Which one? First one. Ah. So your, your goal, the one you scored. I'm still appealing for that goal, but okay. <laughs> um, yeah, you know... Uh, I felt it. I felt it coming. Uh, corner kick. The ball just gets out of the box. Ranko makes a good slide because I was telling him, slide, slide, slide. And he ended up getting the ball. And I knew I was all alone. I turned and just wanted to blast it in the net and just end the game. And you touched on this a little bit with Michael, but I, I wanted to see what you thought about the 
what does it feel like to you to be playing in this kind of game, to be getting that kind of late result? What, what are those emotions like when, when you do score that goal and, and you know that you guys have come all the way back for those three? Uh, it's, it's amazing. Uh, you know, it's just words can't describe it. It's just all all our sacrifice, uh, you know, put in to, to, to a final goal or f and final win like that is just, you know, it's a relief. Uh, and, you know, I think it was well-deserved. Uh, as I said, we, we, there were so many games that we scored in the last minute and it's it's it feels amazing. Uh, we just got to try to, to win the games before, not to, you know, just worry so much until the last minute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Gemma. We'll go to Har next. Go ahead, Har. Got lots of questions. I'm going to use the whole timer. Uh, Kevin, how was your quad? Because you had an injury going into this week. I have I have a little bit of a tear there, but it, you know it's nothing that bothers me. Uh, even even I mean the last shot didn't really bug me that much, so you know it feels good. I mean I've been having some, I've had something there for the past month, but you know it's just nothing to be to worry to be worried about. It's just it's just now it's just a bruise, just um, healing itself. So no, it's it's feeling good. Like I feel good, and you know it, nothing's gonna stop me from playing. Well, maybe the next game. Uh, Simon scored uh -huh. a great goal. Uh -huh. Can you tell us how well the kid played? Maybe did you give him any advice? Yeah, Simon. I mean, everybody dreams of getting their MLS or pro debut and scoring a goal on their debut. So I mean, you know, hats hats off to him. Uh, I mean, he's been he's been playing well so far with the Whitecaps too, and you know he's been showing that he's a true goal scorer. So uh, even when I was we were together in preseason, you know, I thought he had a lot of quality and. And he's going to be a really, a really bright kid in the future. So, uh, eyes, you got to watch out for him. Thanks, Lucas. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks, Harlan. We'll wrap up with JJ. Go ahead, JJ. Hey, Kevin. I was just wondering, is that the softest yellow card you've ever gotten? Uh, each time they're softer. Each yellow, they get softer and softer. Probably. If I grab the ball, uh, they take a yellow card. If I give them the ball and throw it at them a little bit, like softly, they still give me a yellow card. So I don't know what to do with the ball. Well, you've got next week to uh, help heal up that quad. How are you feeling about uh, missing that, that game in such an important time of season? Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. Uh, you know, I mean, we need these points. Every game counts now, so it's it's going to be tough. But I mean, this team is uh, has a lot of depth. Uh, we've We've been through so many obstacles and we managed to pull through. So, I mean, I'm not worried. Uh, I'm going to be there this week just to motivate the guys and push them to, to, to keep getting those points. Uh, I think it's going to be a big game for us, but I think we can manage. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Congrats on the win. Thank you, guys. Take care. Good night.